Good evening guys and welcome back to the channel, it's Jaeger262 and today I'm going to do a Gunpla tutorial video. I know I haven't been doing a lot of Gunpla videos and I apologize to anybody who's been on my channel watching those. I've been focusing on the game side of the channel, on Armored Warfare and World of Tanks, but I have two young aspiring artists and YouTubers who have inspired me to go back to what I love in arts and crafts and my hobbies such as Gunpla. Now to that end I wanted to introduce a new part of my channel which will fit into the same kind of painting and stuff and that is action figure customization. It's not something I do a lot of anymore but I used to and I got this Athorian the other day, classic Star Wars figure and on his face I just did a real simple wash just to bring out the not only bring out the details but to give a warmer color and darker hue to the skin to look more like the actual aliens in the movies and I've only done that part because one you can compare it to the rest of his skin to see how it looks and two I'm going to be making the rest of him including how I'm going to finish the eyes and paint his tunic here all the video and I have some other action figures we're going to customize like this one so stay tuned to the channel for those but today I'm going to be doing a panel lining video. Now I'm not in my normal space because I've been building Gunpla with my sister and teaching her a little bit about the hobby and what it is. And one of the things that I'm going to go over with her, and so I thought I might make a video about it, is panel lining. And for that I am using the MSK 008 Deja. And so this is actually one of my favorite high grade kits I think I've ever built. And so I'm just going to teach you how to panel line in the simplest way possible. And for that, all we're going to need is just a Gundam marker. And the reason I'm doing the simplest way possible is because this is just a straight out of box snap. And so I'm continuing the detailing and weathering process with just things you can pick up at the store. No painting required, no special skill, just everything out of the box. It doesn't mean that it's a simpler skill set even though you don't need a lot of skill to do it. A lot of professional builders people have been doing this forever. Use Gundam markers to panel line. It's just a good way, it's an easy way and a quick way to bring out detail. So all you'll need is a Gundam marker, some Q-tips, and of course, a sporal alcohol. And I'm not gonna do the whole soup for this video, I'm gonna try to keep it short. So I'm only gonna do some choice parts for example, the butterfly wings on the back of the suit, or radiator wings, which is what they are. And I'll give you some background into the actual suit itself. So, the MSK-008 was an AEUG suit developed during the Grips War conflict, which is in Zeta Gundam, right after the One Year War. A League of Terrorist kinda, or fanatic, sorry, from Earth, form a group called the Titans. And so Earth Federation forces, which then became AEUG, and Xeon actually team up. But that is besides the point. My mark has already been shaken, but all you want to do, what you saw me do here, is you just shake it and let the ink flow. And then if I can get this close enough to the camera, get it in focus. You just touch it down and you'll see. Now, the Gundam markers, the way they work is it is a very thin alcohol-based ink. So it's very runny. We're gonna clean up these dots here where we actually applied it. That's what you need the alcohol for. But see how crisply it brings out that panel line and super easy, you just put it at the end and it's so thin, as long as you leave it there long enough it will fill up the whole line, and if it doesn't, oh wait, no it didn't, you just touch it a little bit, there you go. Do the other side, and so yeah, pretty simple stuff when it's just straight lines like this, and I'll go in, I'm not doing the darker panels, because you can't really see black on those, but I might go through and try it out later. For now, we're just doing the obvious parts. 
the panel line in recessed areas like this, you're just gonna take it and put it into a corner and just press down like that and you'll see it goes all the way, hold on. There you go, get it to focus on it. You'll see it goes all the way around the booster there. Or sorry, not booster, but rather. No, yeah, it's a booster, engine. I'm getting confused. This is my first actual Zeta Gundam suit. And so not only is it designed to be almost undergated for anybody who's new to this hobby, essentially what that means is that all the sprues, when you cut it off, are put in places that will be hidden once it's built. Which is really nice. It means cleaning up and getting rid of nub marks. Nice. So we're going to let that sit for maybe about 30 more seconds. And then we're going to do a cleanup on it. And for that, you need alcohol. Because again, unlike acrylics, which are water-based, the wash or ink using Gundam markers is alcohol-based. And you're just going to wet the tip of a Q-tip. Not too much. Well, maybe a little bit more than that. The point is you don't want it drenched in alcohol because then it'll pull the panel. It'll pull all the ink off of the suit. And then what you're going to do is just rub it across the surface. And it'll get rid of... Oops. Yeah. That's one of the only problems I have with this kit is these are really loose so after I do all the panel lining I might just end up gluing them if you want to see my review of this kit which I'll be doing probably tomorrow it should be fun I mean this is absolutely one of the best mobile suits I've ever built easily straight out of the box all right and see you can see how it's not 100% clean now there's still some black around the edges. All that's going to need is just a second pass over with a Q-tip. Again, with alcohol. I'll get that alcohol out of the bottle here to clean it up. Now another reason you don't want too much alcohol beyond just taking all of it off is that depending on how much you have could cause the wash to pool and lose form and so then it's no longer panel lining it's more like just bad painting I keep dropping it this is hard to hold this panel I did it again good lord Take some of that off of there. And the one of the boosters is gonna be tricky to get into. If I could just get the camera to focus on it. This one I'm not too worried about because someone's gonna be looking into the engine. And I do just want to clean up some of it. So I'm just using the Q-tip and just again. You want to go against the panel line so that way you don't just scrape all of that wash out and just go over it. There we go, like that. I'll press this plate back in. Wow. I don't know why it's doing that. It keeps popping it back out on me. And there you go. Easy, only took a couple of seconds and it's panel lined. Now I'm going to try and panel line for you guys some more complex shapes. For example, his weapon here. Now, I don't want to get too much into the suit specifications while well, I'm just doing this because I'll say that for the review, but anybody who recognizes this weapon will notice it's very similar to the weapon used by the Gelgoog. Now, this was, again, a joint project between AEUG and Xeon, 
and the biggest inspiration for this suit was actually the Xeon Gelgoog because it was the only non psycho commu suit that Amaro Ray faced in the original Gundam series that almost bested, if not bested, the Gundam in a hand-to-hand -hand battle. And that's important because this is actually Amaro Ray's personal suit, which is why I kept it this green color. And he had a lot of design input. And because of that, we, go, we circle back around, because of that design input, it looks like a Galgoog. Now for anything curved like this, you're just going to pick one spot on it, attach it to it, and it should come almost all the way around. You just find that, do it again, just like we did on the last one. Just touching it lightly and waiting till the wash goes all the way around the piece. Like this, like so. And if you get a good one like that one, it should go through rather easily. I'm hoping you guys can see this. I'm not focusing. And the reason we're doing this is just to bring out little details that you wouldn't have seen otherwise. There. It's out of focus again. I apologize. Right there, just like that. Now this one got a little bit messy because there's not a lot of good ways to grip this particular weapon. But don't worry. We'll be able to clean up all that overspill. Come on. Focus. There we go. We'll be able to clean all of that up with the Q-tip. But yeah, more fun facts on this suit. While I get my Q-tip ready. And again, it's just a little bit of alcohol. If you get too much, you just squeeze it out. Not a problem. Or you just rub it on the plate. Well, I'm using a plate. You don't have to. And then yeah, just gently going over it. You don't want to rub into it. Just over it. Just like that. And it'll get rid of any on the top. Hopefully, if you do it right leaving the wash in the recessed panels, or panel lines, rather. All right, where was I going with that? Oh yeah, another fun fact about the suit is that in the Zeta Gundam series, whereas Char has that very noticeable golden Hayaku Shiki suit, which was made just for him. This suit was made just for Amaro, and its color is unique to him. And there, you don't really see any grunt use of this suit or any mass production of this suit in Zeta Gundam. So it really is just Amaro's suit. And he is, I think Char piloted it once, and he fights alongside Char with it. So it's just a really cool, interesting suit design and concept to see both uh, the Earth Federation, or what was the Earth Federation, and Xeon forces working together to make just probably one of the most amazing weapons in the Mobile Suit Gundam series, and, um, and what would become, obviously, an excellent, excellent model kit. Absolutely a joy to build. The engineering, they have some pretty cool gimmicks in this kit to help with the hoses and hose detail okay so we did it and as you can see right here what I want to talk about sorry I cut myself off right there I took some of the panel line out of the wash and that's easy to do not a problem you just go back through and just reapply it and that's it and the next time you go over it just be a little bit more careful when you wipe away the wash that you don't take any out. Get it 
all cleaned up here. Oops, get it all cleaned up there. All right. There you have it. No, oh, that's not. It's not gonna focus. Come on. There you go. It focuses on it, and then if I move it, it goes on crazy. There you have a panel lined hilt. And that's pretty much there. It's all there is to panel lining with a Gundam marker. It's fairly easy. It just requires some cleanup, a little bit of concentration, but nothing too serious. And in a few simple minute, uh, simple steps, you can have a fairly detailed gunpla kit without applying any type of paint. And so I'm going to do all the panel lines on the rest of this kit. There's some here you can see here like in the helmet. I'm going to do the whole kit like this, and then when I do the review, you'll be able to see the results of that. But it should bring out all this detail and make it really pop. So, thank you so much for watching this, I guess, tutorial, sort of. Uh, it's just a really simple way. It's something that I didn't use until recently. I never used Gundam markers. I would always use oil washes like I do on actual model kits. Or I should say military model kits, sorry. Or pre-made, pre-mixed washes from like Vallejo. And I never used these. I never really thought they were any good. And it wasn't until I used them on just bare plastic kits like this one, no paint at all, because you can't apply this to kits you painted and clean it up. The alcohol that you will need to clean it up will actually break down most paints and most top coats. So I wouldn't recommend using it. And if you want to, you could take it out of the mark, which a lot of people do, and put it in a cup and then do precision application. And you might be able to get away with that on painted kits. But this is really just for bare plastic kits like this. And it does a really nice panel line like you see here in only a couple of minutes. It takes seconds to do it and then it maybe a full minute just to get everything done. And it looks great. And so it's just, it's something I didn't have when I first started the hobby. So for anybody that is just starting, I think it's a great tool to use and a great way to get detailed builds relatively easily. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. It gives me a lot to continue making these videos and to continue making gunpla videos and other modeling videos or painting videos aside from just video games. And if you want to get notified on the review I'm going to do of this, my action figure painting, I have a video I just recorded of a Dom unboxing and talking about the MS-09 Dom suit. So if you want to get notified for any of those, please subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot to me, and I will see you next time.